It's true that practice makes perfect, but how you practice is often overlooked. Simply shooting at the range is not an effective way to practice for the buck of a lifetime. Today we learn tips from snipers that will make you a better hunter. For many whitetail hunters, the challenge of getting close to a buck isn't the toughest part of their hunt. Executing a lethal shot is what keeps them from success. More than anything, one's inability to shoot accurately is what keeps them from harvesting a deer. On today's show, we will share with you how you can shoot like a sniper so that the next time you have a buck in your sights, your shot will be lethal. Focusing while under stress and controlling your adrenaline is essential to hunting success. Knowing what happens to you under these conditions and managing these symptoms makes you a far better shot and a more effective hunter. Getting to know yourself as well as you know your weapon is the key to being the best shot you can be. That's not bad. That really isn't bad. I'm Kevin Michalowski, the editor of Tactical Gear Magazine. And part of what I do in my job is work with a lot of professional law enforcement officers, a lot of very good shooters, been to a lot of different schools, and I've learned a lot of tricks on how to control yourself when you're out there, when situations are going bad. And a lot of these guys do things a little bit differently. They learn all the same basic skills, but they have to find out for themselves what's going to work and how they're going to make things go so they can pull off that perfect shot when they have to. What is a perfect shot? A perfect shot on an animal is the most effective lethal shot into the vitals. A perfect shot at the range is being able to repeat the previous shot and follow it up with an equally proficient shot. Having confidence and proficiency at the range translates to an effective shot in the field. Mechanics generally are an application of the uh, butt pad to the shoulder, a good cheek weld, a good controlled uh, grip, palm grip on the, on the pistol grip of the rifle and a controlled mash to the rear of the trigger. A lot of hunters become out of control when they see their first deer or they see that massive buck in front of them. To control their, their breathing, the shooter should use autogenic breathing. While holding on to that grip and pushing that, that weapon to their, to their shoulder and keeping a good cheek weld, they should draw in a count of three, hold it for the count of three, then release it for the count of three. Doing three of those cycles, you'll be a completely different hunter from where you started your, your autogenic breathing cycle to the end of that autogenic breathing cycle. You should be able to lay your shot down a heck of a lot better than when you started that, that breathing cycle. <laughs> 